share in this video I have made a rubber comb which I use for pulling out dead coat on uh, the setters uh, also it's good for spaniels um, and also on the double coats to pull out the the loose um, coat and the coat um, out of them so you can use it on anything from Labrador Rottweiler type of coat to Nordic breeds the really thick double coats golden retrievers German shepherds so you can uh, uh, the rubber bands they will grip nicely so I've got one here uh, I prefer the combs with the handle just because they're more, more comfortable to work with and these rubber bands, they're just plain ordinary rubber bands. If you're in England, um, these are all bands that postmen drop all over your front drive. So I'll just pick them up and keep them because eventually you're going to need to replace the bands. Um, now, they're all different lengths. So how do we measure out what do we need is roughly twice over so if your band fits twice over your comb like that you'll be able to get it between the teeth now you can use uh, these type of combs as well if you like to work with a comb like that and you want relatively fine teeth so you don't want them spaced out too much um, you want just about as much so that the band fits between your teeth. Um, so yeah, you see, it, as long as it fits between there, that's um, a comb you want. So not too wide and not super fine because you won't get the band between the teeth. And now, don't worry, my first one was never very pretty. Um, and we're just going to start. Uh, so we'll put the first one. And then uh, we'll just go and we'll wrap. You don't have to push it down. So you could just have it sort of in the middle while you're threading it through. Uh, and you will just go one tooth. Another tooth. Sort of zigzagging this way. Another tooth. Let's see if I can show you this way. And then we'll go over that way. And you want to have a nicely flat lay in there. So you don't want to uh, twist it. And it's a little bit time consuming. And then you see once you get few you can push them down your teeth and uh, stretch out like that and you kind of get the hang of it once you do few of them um, see, and that's how we go and then you can push when we finish the whole row So we're going between the teeth. Right, I will pause here for a minute and I'll finish up that and I'll come back to you to show you the rest. Here we are, I've done one row like this and I'm going to push it down. That's a bit tough, but you can do it a few at the time. That's not pushing it, so just with your fingers, it's a bit tough, but you can get it down there. There might be another way to do it. Um, I haven't worked it out yet. Maybe someone else does it differently. So we'll just be back when I push it all down. left here because the first one got stretched quite a lot so I'm not going to pull this one and then you see we've got that overhanging 
So we've got to wrap it around um, that way, because if I'll go the other way, I'll miss the top tooth. So I'll just thread my through next one like that. And then we just, uh, and we'll start pushing on the second row. I'll just be pushing it right down there and I'm not, not pulling. I might still end up with some overhanging band. We'll work out. There we go. Second row goes a lot quicker. We'll get this one down quickly. See, the second one be, goes really quickly. And you want to, and that's why we're getting out. And you can just sit in front of Tilly, put a movie on, and you can do yourself a, oh, I missed the tooth there. So, oh, there we go. See how quickly this one goes. It's just the first row is a bit tougher. Mm, so we're getting somewhere. And I'm not sure how often, it really depends how often you use it. This sort of rubber will disintegrate a little bit and it'll lose its grippiness. So when you find that, that it just looks a bit cracked and uh, isn't gripping and pulling hair well enough, then it's time to replace them. And that's why I keep holding all these bands as they come along. So I've got some when they need. And I also keep two kinds ready. One I use for a dirty coat, so before the bath, um, I'll run the comb through the back and the sides and everywhere where you've got the short hair and then I've got a clean comb which I can run through on the bath dog, on a clean dog um, after. So I'm not, because you'll see that they will get, rubbers will get quite dirty when you use them on a unbathed coat. Um, so then I don't want to put the same comb back in and start rubbing the dirt back into the clean coat. So I've got a clean one and a dirty one. Now we've got a bit left here. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap that around the handle there so it's not overhanging. Like this one is. And uh, that's a comb ready. And then you'll just run it through on the angle uh, through the dot coat. Uh, and you'll just be pulling and then you just pull the hair out with your fingers um, and chuck it and off you go again and um, and that's how you can do it real quickly remove a lot of the coat so I hope this was helpful and that's how you make your rubber cotton thanks for watching guys